you think that was your fault on that one or, um, or somebody else? Or? Well, the reason I said yes yeah. was because that both Wayne and Aphrodite uh, had jumped at the chance to share their story of how they were sexually abused by family members mm -hmm. as they were growing up and how that affected them and how they had found methods for healing. And they were so enthusiastic about sharing these methods which have worked for so many women. We actually had about, I think it was seven or eight women lined up to, to share with the reporter their testimony of how these techniques of role play and confronting the villain uh, as an adult but pretending that you're still a child yeah. and then you get a different outcome. <sighs> you know, it, this plus energy work and whole body healing and, and tuning for, there's, a, Wayne uses a lot of sound. Right. Um, he uses sacred and ceremonial art to inspire the woman to feel her own goddess inside so that she knows how she wants to end up. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of s clinical sex therapy is about releasing blocks, which that's part of what goes on. But what we do at the temple is we present positive mapping. So we take the person beyond releasing the blocks into uh, self-empowerment and then a, a new mapping that involves pleasure and choice and unfoldment and they get to have a new map a new matrix isn't this sort of a uh, new therapy that you've introduced in the it's temple? actually ancient but you know we live i in meant the service i mean the, the the this you know the as far as wayne's uh, i guess his his uh is this new or, or you know wayne uh has been offered studies uh he, he's going to participate in a study at a major university here pretty quick and he's had two different universities offer to study uh how well his why his methods his techniques work the unique combination of energy work sound aromatherapy role play whole body healing uh, inspirational music so many techniques uh, to free the person into their empowerment and his his work is working for women and <clears throat> the fact was that I offered the reporter to experience a session I lined up four different practitioners so she could have lots of choice, all of whom were bisexual because she was a woman to woman uh, kind of gal. Mm -hmm. And so she- I mean, that was her preference. For the reporter, yes, we talked about it. And so I said, these are the practitioners that would be great for you, uh, who could really meet you where you live and not impose any kind of uh, boy, girl, straight stuff on your, your romance and your life choice. Right. And really celebrate that with you, your girl to girl thing. And she came back and sort of sorrowfully reported that her editor would would not allow her to receive a session. And would, wow. could she watch a session? And that's when Aphrodite and Wayne, both being survivors of sex abuse from family members, they both jumped in and said, we want to show that we've got something that can really help sex abuse. So they were like really having an out and proud moment. And me as the mama of the temple, I was like, wow, Two of my sexually abused children here have found healing and joy and they want to share it with the world. Of course, I'm going to say, go ahead, kids, show what you know. And that was exactly the place that I reacted from. Right. I was Did, not you... going to, as a mother, shirk, hide away, pretend that it's not happening around sex abuse right. for, of children. I'm not going to pretend about that. I'm not, and I'm not going to pretend that I don't know what's going on as the root, the root cause. The root cause is when you have a masculine God that is outflow, outflow, outflow. And that's what we have when we have a God who doesn't have a female partner who's receiving. So then we don't value and we don't practice the sacred pause, the yin, the receptivity, the taking in from the other person. That's the back and forth energetic weaving of Tantra. Instead, we're just concerned with being as powerfully outflowing as we possibly can. That's super young. We wanna be the super radiant one and we are never, ever wavering in our plan because we are in charge and we must stay in control and our plan is working and if it isn't working, we're going to change it and it's just this big outflow, outflow, outflow. And without the yin, without the feminine uh, pause to take in information from the other team and the environment and your own heart, without the sacred pause, you just end up burning out or, or blowing up. That's what happens with too much yang. Unmitigated yang, unmitigated outflow hmm. is too hot. Right. And so it ends up as a cruel, angry society. Witness the culture that keeps their women in burqas and 
uh, put all of the responsibility for sexual magnetism on the females and have absolutely no ownership nor mastery of their root power. And look at how angry they are. When yeah. you have a culture where sex is that repressed, you get the most angry culture. Tracy, and you do, had do, talked can about how you? we have violence as entertainment right. in the United States. And <clears throat> well, you know, porn has become entertainment too now. That, that, that you know, people believe yes, that it's, it's, it it's should it's, that it's legal because it's yeah. because it's not because of yeah. what it is, and it is regarded as again uh, See, the act of prostitutes. They're they're acting like that it's entertainment, and that's okay. Yeah, I, I just want to say that that sexuality is very natural, and it's a gift from the mother. And in our temple, we know that it takes a soul, an individuated soul light, as a gift from the father. And you've also got to have your body from the mother goddess. You've got to have a body and you've got to have a soul. And you've got to have that connected in yourself and you've got to be connected to the web of life. You've got to be having energy flowing in and also flowing out. And so in these practices, people are activating their soul light and their soul's purpose and their mission and they are using what we would normally call sex energy, but in temple we refer to it just simply as the root or the sacred pump from which all of the power pumps and goes up the ladder of light. Um, <clears throat> without training, how could you be a great tennis player if you never played tennis and you just read books about tennis? How could you? You, you wouldn't be a good tennis player if you just read books about it. Sexuality is the same way, love making, touch. It, it can be taught. In the ancient days, it was taught in the goddess temples how to touch, how to make love. A woman learned to be a lover. A man learned to be a lover. And then they went forth as better lovers. And of course, there was more energy exchanged, more healing, more power access, more wisdom exchanged. Um, Tantra says that sacred sexuality just puts you into oneness. And in that moment, you are one with the source. And from that place, you can ask for anything. You can heal anything. You're actually one with God. What I would, I would use the word God. It's source. But in within God, I have Goddess. So I have the feminine and I have the masculine. And to me, they're both in the Creator. I, w I just, I can't have one without the other. And it doesn't even make sense because we breathe in and we breathe out. It's light and it's dark. It's hot and it's cold. To me, that's evidence.